Hi everyone, Scott here. Got my Bible, hope you have yours. Let's talk. Let's talk about Kobe Bryant. Yeah, let's talk about him. The man was a legend. He had five NBA championships. He was an 18-time All-Star. He was a 15-time member of the All-NBA team. He was a 12-time member of the All-Defensive team. And in 2008, he was NBA's most valuable player. Indeed, his passing has shaken the world of sports. The Lakers postponed their next game because of the overwhelming grief that the players are experiencing right now. Several teams around the league have purposely used their first possessions to violate the 24 second shot clock as a tribute to Bryant, who wore number 24 for part of his career. Guys like Michael Jordan, and LeBron James and Wilt Chamberlain all have chimed in and paid their respects to the man. And the impact of Kobe's death has been widely felt well beyond the world of sports. To many, the man was a legend. And legends aren't supposed to die. At least not at the age of 41. But here's the thing. His passing is a great reminder of the brevity of life and our own mortality. Think about 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 24, which tells us, All flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of the grass. The grass withers, and the flower falls. You know, it's January, and that means in my neck of the woods, right now, everything's brown. But soon enough, the weather will warm up, and the grass will start growing again, and everything will green up. But did you know that almost as soon as it grows up, it begins to wither and pass away? And if you think about it, we're like that. The Bible says that all flesh is like grass and it's glory like the flower of grass. We really don't have much time on this earth. And we never know when our time is up. I'm sure that Mr. Bryant and the other eight souls who perished in the helicopter crash didn't know that Sunday, January 26, 2020, would be their last day on earth. So I don't know where that leaves you, but it leaves me realizing that there's an urgency to life. Life is short, and we don't know how much time we have here on earth. There's also an urgency to answering the great questions in life. Questions like, what's going to happen to me after I die? Is heaven and hell real? Does God exist, and does he really love me? These are questions everyone should be asking themselves and seeking to find the answers to. Friends, I would encourage you to open God's word and seek out the answers to those important questions. Life here on earth is short. Are you prepared for the life that is to come? At the Woodland Hills Church of Christ, we'd like to help you answer any questions that you might have uh, concerning these things. So leave us a comment, leave us a question below, and let us know how we can help you. God bless, and thanks for watching.